Hey, Bark Trash here. Um, somebody asked, could I show them my new house that I've been talking about? And, well, the answer is, of course, maybe. Yeah, it's actually yes. Um, I'm still very much in the process of just moving in. Uh, got my guns, some of them in here. Brought this over that's going to be part of my transformer display. Not Right now, I've just got just a few transformers in there um, laundry room right here got my nice little kitchen through here living room please excuse the boxes from Ikea that's a entertainment center that I'm gonna be putting together after a while um, it's going to be up against this wall right here. It's uh, two bookcases, an entertainment center, and a uh, like a bridge or a wall shelf between them that most of my uh, Transformers are going to go in it. Well, not most of them, but the ones I want to display. Coming on down here, excuse the mess down there. I'm going to be, the big boxes are, I'm waiting to do a little bit of a remodel in the bathroom and I guess I could have made the bed first but nothing really to look in it here nothing in the bathroom and this is going to be kind of like a little work area for my Gundams and working on stuff in here I got enough backlog to be able to take care of in here but and that's it running Windows Millennium Edition, I think, right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that to get it out of... I don't know. I, I hate throwing away computers because I'm always paranoid about somebody finding something worth stealing on it. Uh, let me see. Oh, this, this actually went quite a bit quicker than I planned. Hmm. I'm going to be moving in another, see this display case right here is going to be primarily my Optimus Prime display. I've got uh, that guy in there just to have him somewhere right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep him on display or not, but I do kind of like the way he looks. Um, right here on this wall where these filing cabinets are, I'm going to be putting another gun cabinet about the same size as this right there. But be putting uh, glass shelves in it and some more display right there. Um, since we've only run through this long, I guess I can go ahead and show you the outside a little bit. It's one of my only friendly cats over here. And now I guess she doesn't like the camera. There's Cat. There's a box that blew out from right here that I had a cat that had a litter in it. Hopefully they're not still in it. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. She came up and was rubbing on my leg while I wasn't paying attention. There's two more of them. Those are not the most friendliest. My truck and my My Mazda. Really, that's that's pretty much it you know I'm, my property line is not that tree right there but the one just to the left of it and then that line of long grass over there it's my shed and the tree line back there is the end of it's mine and I don't have my keys to shed right now otherwise I, well I couldn't show you around it too well right now set up for a garage sale in there right now so it's pretty chock a block but I'll show that another day so uh, I forget who it was that asked if they could see some of my stuff uh, there it is I do have one other thing to show and that's um, oh cat's so happy uh, this little building right here it was like 
my uncle's, I don't know what he used the little building for, but if you look, the wall, this south wall, actually this is the north wall, is just flat full of bees. So I, I need to figure out what I'm going to do about them. Kitty cat. You know, I always used to say, you know, it, you know, it's always seemed strange to me that all the Transformers reviewers had cats. And I was like the one that didn't. And now I'm making up for it. Last time I got a good head count, I've got 13 cats that live around here. That uh, they were my aunt's cats, so I can't really just get rid of them because, you know, it's kind of hateful. Oh, shoot. The camera's got a bad lean to it, but. I'll just lean to where I look up right. How's that? So, anyway, um. Yeah, I can't really just get rid of the cats, but, uh. I will start trapping them and having them fixed because three of the adult cats just had litters and there's three or more of them that look like they're pregnant. So I haven't found all of the litters that have dropped, but from what I've found so far there's 13 kittens. So I am the source of the overpopulation problem of cats and Bob Barker hates my guts so uh, anyway I'm tired of leaning like this trying to make things look normal make everything else look kind of off kilter I guess so uh, y'all have yourselves a good one and uh, wish me luck okay final update of the week which is not really very accurate considering this is all going to be edited into the first video of the week and possibly month. I don't think year though. Um, my cabinets are all done except for the one that goes across the bridge. Uh, I messed up and bought a white one instead of this, uh, they call this uh, spruce veneer. Uh, I started populating the shelves. Uh, just to kind of get an idea of how the sizing is going to work. So you can see a a Classics Voyager with how I've got them spaced right now. It's almost touching, well, let's say about two inches. Uh, Scorponok up here in one of his regular conventional modes, not his uh, secret base mode. Uh, his stinger is within a quarter inch. Um... Of course, I had to put these two in here that I've been gifted. My uh, G1 Grimlock and my Megatron. Thanks again for that, man. Or men, actually, because I think that came from two different people. Everything I've received as a gift will be on permanent display in here. Once I get them all out of my storage. Uh, this right here, not no, be, no real changes here. Except, uh, I think this Prime is about the same size as the prime that's in that so I just put him in there just to you know kind of show just how much he got bulked up whenever you put him in the armor um, and that's about the extent of what I've done this week mostly messing with this running the roads and I really don't care for this right here just how snug this is in here because I almost had to just shove this in here to make it fit. But uh, that's the only thing that I found that I don't care for. And if you go to a um, Ikea and would want to get a setup like this, what that is is the... Uh, uh, the Beano, I think it is, the entertainment center with two Billy shelves, and that's a Billy wall mount shelf that's going to be going where my antenna is right now. So, uh, 
total cost of everything you see here uh, is $540. It'd be $200 less if you skipped the glass doors. So you could have this minus the doors for, I guess, $340 about. Probably a little bit less because of uh, some of the $540 is tax. <sighs> but anyway, I'm tired now. I gotta get up at 1 o'clock in the morning to go to work. So, I'll talk to y'all later, next week.